Guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces Round 896 Div 2, and we're gonna solve the second problem that is 2D traveling. So let's quickly see what the problem states. So there is a guy called as Piggy, and uh, he lives in a uh, some universe. There is a infinite plane of Cartesian coordinate system on it. Uh, so there are n cities in the plane. All uh, cities are numbered from 1 to n. And very important thing is there are k cities. Like first k cities means the first. Uh, k cities they are giving in the input are known as major cities very important and uh, coordinate of each coordinates of each of the city ij is represented by xi and ya i the coordinates of ith city is xi ya that is uh, you see these dots right these are the cities here and uh, these red city red color dots are known as major cities now what uh, the question is he wants to go from city a to city b they will give the coordinates like where he wants to go and uh, we need to find like if uh, he is going by flight okay if he wants to go through aeroplane like uh, there is a fare attached to it they are asking uh, you can go through any cities but the fare price should be minimum and the catch here is he can travel uh, through any cities time is not important only the fare is minimum so if there are red dots, right, if there are, uh, if he wants to travel from one major city to another major city, the price is actually free. Since there is a uh, good uh, trade between the major cities, it is free. So if he wants to move from here, this city and this city, it is free. So uh, we want to find what is the minimum cost value of all the articles. So for example, uh, just for example, let's try to understand this. So in a scenario, uh, there is a person who is living in India and uh, he wants to go to somewhere like uh, Egypt, okay? Now the thing is, uh, let's say Bangladesh is near uh, India and uh, uh, there is a country called as Vietnam also and some other countries like US, Syria, lot of countries are there, right? Now, if I want to go from, uh, if Piggy wants to go from India to Egypt, let's assume the cost is 100 rupees, like 100 bucks. But let's assume Bangladesh and Vietnam are major cities. So the cost of travel will be zero. Okay. Now, if he wants to go from India to Bangladesh, they are telling that the cost is like uh, 10 bucks and Vietnam to Egypt, the cost is just two bucks. So what will he choose? Instead of going from India to Egypt, he goes to India to Bangladesh with 10 bucks plus zero bucks because it's free plus Vietnam to Egypt, it's two. So he'll obviously choose, even though the timing is more, uh, Piggy will obviously choose the longer route, but it is having major cities, which is reducing his cost uh, very much less, right? He won't, he don't have to go through other cities. We uh, suppose any other city is there, like he doesn't want to go there. These are countries, not cities, obviously, for example. So I hope you got it. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So N represents the number of cities. So there are six cities here. They will give all the coordinates and two represents major cities. So first two, right? Zero, zero and one minus two represents the major cities. In our case, what Bangladesh and Vietnam, right? So let's assume this is uh, Bangladesh and this is Vietnam, which are major cities. And now three represents the index at which Piggy starts. So one, two, three, and uh, if one, two, three means three is at India. So he Piggy starts at India. So this is the city Piggy starts and five represents a destination. So five is here and this is Egypt. Okay. Now, suppose if this is India, this is uh, minus two, one is the coordinate where India is there and Egypt two minus two. Okay. So I want to go through all. I can go through this way, but uh, the best way is I travel through Bangladesh and I come to Vietnam and then go to Egypt. So uh, they are telling that to go from India to Bangladesh, that is uh, I go from here to zero, zero. What is the cost? It is three, right? It is uh, X1, X1 minus X2 plus Y1 minus Y2. That's what they give difference between two coordinates. So it is what uh, minus two minus zero is two absolute value will take and one minus zero is one. Uh, it is one two plus one is three. So three to one and uh, three three to one that is three to one and one to two. So from one he goes to two. Two is a major city one minus two here. So from here to here the cost is zero and two to five. So from two that is this two he goes to five that is Vietnam to Egypt directly. So that cost is uh, one here. How is it one? It is uh, uh, two to this is two to five right so it is two minus one is one 
minus 2 plus 2 is 0 minus 2 minus minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 is 0 so only one remains so answer is 1 so you take the total cost and you find the result so i hope you are getting the question now we need to find the answer so before that let's try to solve it uh, okay we just understood logically how does it sound and let's try to understand what does it feel to be in a 1d plane so if it is like 1 2 3 5 10 okay and if i want to go from 1 to 10 what will be the cost the, let's say these are just coordinates i am not taking today i am just taking 1d so 10 minus 1 is 9 right now let's take i'm hopping through each of the cities so it is 1 minus 2 is uh, 1 like 2 minus 1 the distance is 1 again 3 is uh, 2 and 5 is 5 so what is the cost of this 5 6 7 8 9 okay instead of this i take 1 to 5 and 5 to 10 this is 5 and this is 4 this is what 4 plus 5 is 9 now what did we understand from here is if these are the cities if we go uh, in a sorted order right if the closest to major cities if we take it doesn't make sense to include any major cities right if this is the major if uh, not sorry not major cities it doesn't make to include any non-major cities so for 1 to 10 i don't want to include any other cities directly i can go so 1 to 10 i can directly say that the cost is 9 now the trick happens when there are major cities in between so how do we do that 1 2 3 5 10 let's assume 3 is a major city i can go from 1 to 3 only major city to major city will have a free uh, access so in this case here all are non-major cities here the circled one is a major city now 1 to 3 is difference is 2 3 to 10 difference is 7 2 plus 7 again 9 so for one major city also it doesn't make any difference now let's take two major cities 1 2 3 5 10 let's assume let's take 9 also uh, let's take 2 is a major city 3 is a major city 5 is a major let's assume all are major cities here and 11 also let it be but my destination is only till 10 what will i do so the smart way is uh, 1 to 2 2 to 3 is 0 distance between major cities is 0 and 9 to 10 is also uh, 9 to 10 i reached since i know all of these are 0 should i include in my problem the answer is no right i don't have to include this path at all so only thing is if there are a number of major cities, I just want to take the closest to two values. So that is 1 minus 2 is 1, 9 minus 10 is 1. So all this uh, does not make sense. So according to the problem, what did we see? If there are non-major cities, we can directly take this. If there is one major city also doesn't make sense direct. But if there are two major cities or two or more major cities, there is only one possibility. That is, I'll take the closest value of 1, 2. Uh, closest value of starting major city and the closest value of endings major city then i find the difference of both and add it so for 1 to 10 is 9 greater or 1 plus 1 2 is greater obviously 2 is greater right so that's all this is for 1d now how do we solve it for 2d let's understand this with the help of a solution now what did we say these are the xy coordinates so xy coordinates means these all xy we are taking it in an array this is belongs to x array and this belongs to y array now uh, i know price of absolute xa minus xp plus ya minus yv that means what i already told you the start and end we are assuming that there are no there are all non-major cities only between we, i'm just assuming what is the general cost of start to end if there is a direct flight so i'm just knowing now i am going iterating through the first k what does the first k represents first two represents the major cities why do I need to do that? Because I am iterating through all the numbers and uh, checking that what is the closest uh, distance. I am to, I will take 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 5, 1, 9, then 10, 2, 10, 3, 10, 5, 9, 9. Whoever is giving me the minimum amount, minimum fare, I am taking that for start and the end. So that is, I am taking it as price A major, that is, X A represents the start to X major, okay, and Y A minus Y major. For So for uh, x uh, so for one i'm taking for two three like that i'm telling it in 1d so you have to make it for 2d similarly for uh, this also i just make x b a b represents what b is the end right end means here this uh, 10 minus 9 10 minus 5 so in this case what 5 right 5 is what this one 2 minus 2 if there are major cities i want to take the difference between this and difference between this whoever is uh, giving me the minimum value minimum difference minimum fair i am considering i'll go to that major city now once i get all of this i just want to take uh, what is the flight for the direct uh, amount 
like if I go from 1 to 10 directly, what is the amount? Or if I go through major cities, what is the amount? So price A major plus price B major. Here underscore is there. So price A major plus price B major. Whoever is having the minimum price? So suppose in some cases, like uh, India to Egypt might be just 5 bucks, but this can be 12, right? So we just want to know what is the minimum. So we just got this and uh, this is the accepted solution. You can just have a look and also editorial has been published. So this solution is actually inspired from that. So if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments and please do comment. Uh, how did, what did you feel about the video? Thank you. See you in the next.